In a few hours, it will be exactly three years since I stood a few feet from this very spot. As I watched two of our favorite people exchange their vows, I hoped and prayed that all of my dearest family and friends would know an amazing love like theirs. Little did I know that I would be meeting the love of my life that very evening. As you know, I was given an invaluable piece of advice that evening. <clears throat> Bitch has chetty <laughs> Loosely translated for our friends, that's stick to him. He's a hot piece. <laughs> what we didn't know that evening was that behind the perfect, perfect head of hair was my perfect soulmate, my perfect counterpart, my best friend, my bashere, and one true love. Bobby, you are the kindest, sweetest, most thoughtful, and selfless person I have ever met. Your love, loyalty, commitment, compassion, and generosity of spirit know no boundaries. You have the purest heart and the most beautiful soul. I am so grateful for the exceptional person that you are and what you inspire me to be. I know you hate cliches, but there is no better way to say it than to know you is to love you. Anyone in this room, your 3,000 Facebook friends, <laughs> and our combined 12,000 relatives, <laughs> no doubt agree. Your last name, Nuromi, says it all. You are my light and my hope. You are my angel and my unsung hero. You alone made one of the most challenging years of my life, also one of my very best. Throughout that year, and throughout that relationship, we established one very important truth. Regardless of the challenge or obstacle, the distance or time zone, despite Hurricane Sandy or polar vortexes, our priority would always be for us to be together. And so, on this special evening, I promise to always fight to be with you, to believe in you, to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and cry with you, to be your partner in all things, to celebrate with you when Michigan or the Patriots win, <laughs> and comfort you when they don't, I promise to grow old by your side as your best friend, your wife, and God willing, the mother of your children. And I promise to always strive to be worthy of your great love and to reciprocate unconditionally. Since we both love a good quote, I searched all over for one that would capture this moment. From Rumi and Hafez to Dr. Seuss, Nothing seemed quite right until I found this. A line from an email you wrote me three months into our relationship. The party's only just getting started, and you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Brace yourself and get ready for an exciting life together. And as we stand here together under our football, I once again hope and pray for all of our loved ones. But this time, I wish them a love like ours. Chapter One. <laughs> I wait. It's the wrong speech, which is for the dinner reception later. <laughs> it's 
crazy to think that almost exactly three years ago to the day, I saw you walk down this very same aisle previous time, and I was so focused on you that I managed to forget that you were walking with someone else. That evening, like this one, is a time that will stay with me forever. Thank you for taking a chance on Chris's Persian friend, <laughs> even if I didn't look it, <laughs> and for dancing with me, even if I had no idea what I was doing, and for allowing me to share an Instagram photo of you and Tiffany at the end of the night, even if it was just so I could get your number. Since then, you, Mazan Andrun, have become so much to me and more. I could not have found a better half who takes care of those around her, no matter who they are, who always shows her best self to others, no matter how she feels, and who always gives her 110%, no matter how much she has left. You are my angelic Aquarian, my little minion, my superior half, my Shabbat princess, as you would say, the Eshki of my Zenigi. <laughs> Nas can translate that for you guys later. My tiny but mighty warrior, my very best friend, very best friend, my little Kukulu, the love of my life, my VIP Bloomingdale's personal discount shopper. That's <laughs> <laughs> whenever I have and so many other nicknames and titles that I could go on for a while. Beyond this Ketuba, there are so many things I vow to do to the best of my ability. I promise that even when we disagree, I will not disrespect your views, values, or opinions, and that I'll always help you get things in high places. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I promise that equal partnership will always be more than our motto, and that I won't jaywalk when you're not ready. <laughs> I promise that being, I always remember that being sorry is more important than being right, and that I'll always speak Farsi as eloquently as I can, even if it's in a southern Amrikai accent. <laughs> I promise that I'll always remember that it's never about keeping score, and that I'll try to always write more concisely, like I try to in these guys. I promise that no matter the decision, big or small, it's whatever that's best for us, and that I'll always go to coffee bean with you, even when it's 10 blocks in the opposite direction of the subway. <laughs> I promise that I'll always do my best to match your sense of compassion, empathy, positivity, and graciousness, among so many other amazing qualities that you possess, and that I won't embarrass you too much with my dance moves which everyone will get to see tonight. <laughs> I promise that I'll always do my best to be a good example for Jonathan, Brandon, and Dylan, even when it's when they want to grow their hair out, and that I'll always hold your grandma's hand, as well as let her put a full chicken on my plate at Shabbat dinner, <laughs> even when I'm no longer hungry. <laughs> I promise that when I hopefully break this glass in a moment, that I'll always be mindful of how fragile any loving relationship can be, and how it's always better to ask for permission than for forgiveness. And I'll try to always be the punctual one, the one on American standard time in our relationship, so help me God. I promise that I'll always give you my fullest heart, my most open mind, and purest soul that I possibly can for our relationship no matter the circumstance. Thank you, Nas, for making me the happiest person I could ever be. Sorry. <laughs> for, for always showing me a better way for always brightening my day with your warm smile, your gentle heart, and your infectious laugh. You are everything I could have ever wished for and more, and I feel like I'm still in the middle of some amazing dream. <clears throat> amazing dream, but... 
And so here we stand together three years later in the very same place where it all started. It may have taken us a while to get here and find each other. And it may have taken, it may take the equivalent of Persian standard time to hit other milestones when I hope is a long and blessed life together. But Amen. regardless of whatever challenge we face, I promise you, we will get there. I love you more than any metaphor could ever convey, and I know that everything will always be alright if you've got my side.